Good day, YouTube. It is the 17th of March, 2023, and uh, do something a little bit different today. We're at the barn, um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's supposed to be 60 degrees or something like that today. Still nice tomorrow, and then the rain will come back. But it's been raining and raining. Um, my grass has had standing water in it for a long time. You can see kind of the bare patches. But I'm going to take this opportunity today to do what I've always wanted to do when I was working but never had the time. And that is, you know, mow and thatch and fertilize early in the spring so the you know grass stays green quite long. I do not have water service here at the barn property. Um, so I bring my water in and it barrels and fill a 250 gallon tote and pump out of that. That's my water source. I don't have any water to irrigate. Um, so I just do what I can to make the grass green as long as it can. And uh, I've already got my uh, all my power equipment all serviced up for the year. That's one of the things that was on my list of stuff to do when I retire is to be able to get all my equipment good to go for you know spring and summer mowing so everything's good to go and including the uh, second uh, snapper walk behind mower that we picked up if you watch those videos we're going to put it to use today and uh, i think we're going to put the thatcher blade on my old faithful snapper walk behind and uh, i think how we're going to approach this is i'm going to mow with the walk behind with the bagger so I can collect the grass. I will mow it fairly shallow. I usually leave my grass pretty long, mow it long. It's better for the grass um, and it looks better. Keeps the ground from drying out so quickly. But I think we're gonna set the mower down and mow it kind of close and then we're gonna thatch it and then we're gonna come back and mow again so we can pick up all the thatch and get it out of the grass. And then we're gonna fertilize and when we're all done here, I'm going to go to the house and do the front and back lawn all the same. So it's going to be a full day of mowing and such, but it's going to be a beautiful day and I do love to mow. So let's go in and check out the machines. Sorry for the background noise, they're doing construction uh, pretty close to me and uh, that's going to be the way it is for a little bit. Um, so I think the uh, rear engine riders get the pass today, I don't see the need for it unless I get into my grass at the house and realize it's just too long because I have not done a spring mowing there yet. If it's too long to get through or too wet, I'll come back and get this. We'll cut it with this. We'll come back and bag it with this. But this is the new to me uh, snapper walk behind the big 08 and three quarter horse Briggs. Um, so we're gonna do the mowing with it today. And my, uh, my old faithful, my 19, 88 or so model uh, snapper high back um, we're going to throw the uh, thatcher blade on that today so let's get the thatcher blade put on and get this party started it's uh sun's coming out it's still a little wet so we're taking our time a little bit so the grass will dry out but we should be able to mow here and thatch here and then come back and pick up the grass here um, while it's kind of drying out at the house a little bit. So let's get that thatcher blade on. This should just take a minute or three. Put the gloves on. I've never used a thatching machine. I've always just used a thatcher blade. So this guy here, this is what I've been using. I don't know when these wore out, if I gotta get a whole new blade or if I can just get these, I don't know. This can take 9 sixteenths socket, as I recall. Put the high vacuum blade extensions on this machine back when I bought it. They're still doing the job. Okay. That gets that washer to center. There we go. We have a 
scratcher blade. Got to be real careful. I mean, test the waters on how high you set your machine, because that thatcher blade would tear it up. All right, this machine's ready. I think we need to go start mowing. Hopefully, it's not too wet, but I think we'll get it. So we're gonna get out this guy. Yeah. All right, cold start. This guy up. That guy there. We got our mowed and uh, it's kind of first time mowing with my quote new snapper walk behind and uh, man it's a nice nice machine really nice um, nice and quiet it's lighter than my other snapper walk behind but my other snapper walk behind's you know commercial steel deck and all that so it's certainly got more weight to it um, it probably still outlasts this one but uh, let's get the old one out with the uh, thatcher blade and thatch this grass then we'll mow it again mow it again all right we got the high back out and i've got the deck adjusted where i think it needs to be for thatching so let's thatch a little
right, we are now done thatching. So now we can go over it with the other mower with a bagger and a blade on it and pick up all that grass. I was going to do a Fitbit check today. So we've got, uh, I don't know if you can see that thing on there or not. Let's hit that again. 8,039 steps. That's what it says so far. We're going for maximum steps today, I tell you. All right, let's uh, get the other machine out. Here we go. Fire in the hole. Here we go. Fitbit says I'm over 11,000 steps. Let's uh, get the spreader in here and let's fertilize. I'm more of a broadcast spreader kind of guy. I've got a drop spreader, but I don't like them. It stripes the grass. But So uh, here we go. We're not going to discuss what kind of fertilizer I use because I'm sure that's a topic for a different channel. Get that all spread and I'll go around it a second time. I like to do it real light and do two passes. And that way I don't get hot spots and cold spots, right? Right. Um, that bag's supposed to do 5,000 square feet. I don't know what this is. About 5,000, I think. Maybe a little less. All right, here we go. And it's fertilized, all right. So, it looks good. It's uh, we got one more day of sunshine and then we got the rain coming. We'll take that fertilizer down and oh yeah. I did put winter fertilizer on it like in October. 
so this thing should grow like crazy uh yeah so i got everything loaded up i'm headed home we're gonna do the same off camera but i'll tell you at the end when we get back uh how many steps it was so there we go see you in a bit all right we're here at the house we got the first mowing of the season done and we got it thatched so front yard side yard is a lot of thatch and i did this last year too so i got a lot of grass to pick up i'll take you to the backyard my 90 gallon yard cart is getting full that was empty yeah first cutting of the year I've cut before maybe two or three times at the barn but uh, not here and yeah, we got three dogs so they're pretty rough on the backyard but let's get the uh, big snapper fired up and let's pick up all this grass all right I forgot to tell you after I thatched where my Fitbit said and I was at 20,000 steps. So I've got mowed, got all the grass picked up, the uh, yard cart. I've smashed that down all I can. So we made it though. Heck, that's good. So yeah, front and back, all good. All we have left to do is fertilize. We're at 24,200 steps currently. So started to get tired woohoo glad i stopped for lunch though all right i'm going to put the fertilizer in the spreader get that spread and i'll meet you back at the shop well guys mowers are back in the shed they're gonna rest up for another day i should pull the uh, thatcher blade off this don't figure to need it again but anyway i left the blade right there on the windowsill so i remember and the rider got no use today. Nope, it got uh, it got a time out. It didn't need to go into service. So it was a great day. It was, uh, gosh, I don't know, it was 60 degrees today. Same tomorrow. Nice to get the yards all done. I always kind of stress on that a little bit because I, when I was working, I just didn't get the time to do it like I wanted to. Um, so nice to get it done. So I was at uh, 24,200 steps. Uh, and where are we at now? We're at uh, 26,000 steps for the day. That's cut the grass. That's thatch the grass. That's mow it again. And my front yard at home, I mowed it twice. Pulled another bag off of that dead grass and such but the grass is going to be much healthier because of it um all the kind of the flooding and things that have happened that kind of make the edges kind of bad that'll come right back no big deal so uh, i'm glad to get all that done so we'll uh, put the tracker away for the day and uh we'll do something different tomorrow guys thanks for watching commenting subscribing thumbs up please on the way out we'll catch you on the next video